you. Oh, good. I need a book suggestion. Okay, what kind of book do you like? Well, I want a book that will take me away, uh, perhaps into another time, a simpler place, uh, something that is exciting and, and interesting. So do you want historical fiction? Historical fiction? Oh, no. Is that a funny book? No, historical, like history. Oh, yes, so, yes, yes. historical fiction is when there is a story about characters and they might be real or they might be characters that the author imagined, but it takes place in the past, so oh, like 50 oh, or 100 yeah. years ago. Does that That's sound the right? kind of book I want. A <gasps> book about people that could have lived in the past. In the past. Is there a certain time period that's really well, interesting? I kind of like pioneer stories, oh. times of the old. Days. My goodness, I when know. things weren't so complicated. Oh, yes, when they weren't so complicated. I have the perfect book for you then. Well, tell, tell us about it, Molly. So, my favorite pioneer book that I've read recently is called The Many Reflections of Miss Jane Deming. And the main character in this book is Jane, and she's 11. She loves books and she loves learning, but she has not been able to go to school since her father died in the Civil War. She has to stay at home and look after her little brother all day while her stepmom works in the mill. Well, her stepmom is ready for them to all start a brand new life and arranges for them to go on a voyage to the other side of the country to Seattle, which is in the state of Washington. And Jane is so excited to go to Seattle. She's expecting to make new friends and to be able to finally go back to school. When they arrive in Seattle, things are a lot different than they were expecting. First of all, it's very rainy and gloomy all the time, and Seattle is a lot more of a rugged frontier than they were expecting. And worst of all, there's no school for Jane to go to, and she's so disappointed. So as the family makes their way in this new place, Jane must gain her education in her own way. Some of that is learning from books like she's used to, and some of that is learning all these outdoor skills to live out in this foresty wilderness. So this is a really great book if you like books like Little House on the Prairie, books about pioneers, some other books that you might like. You might like Sweet Home Alaska, which is about a family during the Great Depression who is settling up in the Alaska territories. Or you might like The Quilt Walk, which is about a girl on a wagon train with her family on their way to Colorado. So if you like history, come on over to Orem Library and we'll help you find the perfect one. Hope to see you soon.